so greeting of the day so myself tyag so i am uh, i am from kaibu uh, security department madanapalli institute of technology and science madanapalli today we discuss about the data structures so first what are the content you will that is flow of uh, flow of presentations so first one introduction second one types difference basic operation of data structure need of data structure advantage of data structure and disadvantage of data structure finally application of data structures let me uh, let me about small introduction of the data structure so first what is mean by data so data is nothing but a collection of information is called a data so definition of data structure data structure is a specific, specific way of organizing data in specified format on a computer so that the information can be organized processed stored and retrieved quickly and effectively effectively so they are they are means of handling information rendering the data for easy use so what is mean by structure structure is nothing but a collection of dissimilar data type is called a structure so dissimilar is nothing but you, you can collect the data in different formats uh, such as uh, sometimes you collect the data in integer format that is the uh, whole number sometimes you collect the data in character format sometimes you collect the data in floating file so these data you collect in the different format finally you are stored in the data that is called a structure so way of organizing data and storing the data in the retrieving the data in efficient manner that is called a data structure that is related data plus permissible operation on the data is called a data structure so data what is mean by programs so data structure plus algorithm is called a programs so next topic is types of data structure the, the basically uh, data structure having two types so first one is pri primitive data structure next one is non primitive data structure so primitive data structure is nothing but a basic data structure that is called a integer float character and pointers these are all primitive data that is called a built in type of data uh, data structure that is called a primitive data structure so next one is non primitive data structure so non primitive data structure further classified into three categories so first one is array second one is li link and trees so ne <coughs> next list uh, so list is further classified into linear list and non linear list so linear li uh, linear list further classified into stacks and queue non linear list further classified into uh, graphs and trees so types of data structure so what is primitive data structure it is uh, it is also known as a built in data types can store the data of only one types so you know the integers floating point character and pointers so integer is nothing but a numbers so floating point is nothing but a decimal point character is nothing but al alphabets so a to z so pointer is nothing but a pointer is nothing but a pointer a <coughs> pointer a variable point out the address of the next variable that is the use of the pointer so non primitive data structures on the other hand can store data of more than one type that is called a non primitive data so for, for example array link list stack queue tree graph and so on <coughs> these are often referred to as derived data types that is called a non primitive data structure so non primitive data structure are further classified into linear and non linear so what is the difference between linear data structure and non linear data structure so for the data items are arranged in sequential order one and after another that is called a linear data structure so non linear data structure is data data items are arranged in non sequential order that is a hierarchical manner that is called a non linear data structure so the, all the items are present in the single layer so next non linear is nothing but that data items are present in the different layer so next point it can be traversed on a single run that is if we start from the first element we can traverse all the elements in sequential in a single pass that is called a linear data structure so non linear data structure is it it require multiple runs that is we start from the first element it might not be possible to traverse all the element in a single pass that is called a non linear data structures so the memory utilization is not efficient in the linear data structure the, in the non linear data structures different structure utilize memory in different efficient way depending on the need the time complexity increases with the data size the time complexity remains the same of non linear data this is a small difference <coughs> between linear and non linear data structures so what are the basic operation of data structure so these are all the basic operations so first one is traversal search insertion deletion sorting merge create selection and update and splitting so traversal is nothing but you can traverse a node at least one in a 
tree or graph so only one time you can traverse a node or tree or graph that is called a traversal searching is nothing but you search the element in the any order so uh, that is descending order or ascending order that is called a searching the element so next insertion so insertion is nothing but you can insert the data that is called a insertion operation so next one is deletion so uh, element will be deleted on the uh, linear data structure on nonlinear data that is called in ascending or descending order that is called a sorting so merge is you can merge the uh, merge the element in uh, two uh, two part so first part will be uh, having some element so one two three so next part will be five six six so you merge the two element finally uh, answer will be one that is called a merge of May merging the uh, <coughs> two element in a single element that is called a merge sort so next one is you create a element so that is called a create a operations that is called a element so next one is selection you select the operation of a element that is called a selection sort next update the element of a data structure so next is splitting the data structure in two format so next what is the <coughs> need of data structure so basically need of data structure is important so data structure modification is, is very easy so, so because uh, data is saved in the uh, table format and then only you can easily modify the data so next uh, less time uh, it requires less time you access the data in the less time that is the use of require less time next save so, uh, save storage memory space so next data representation is easy next easy access to large database <coughs> this of the uh, need of data such as so next one is advantage of data such as so these are all the advantage of data such as first one is improved data organization and storage is efficiency next faster data retrieval and the manipulation of so manipulation of uh, data will be very easy so manipula manipulation of data is nothing but uh, manipulation of operations so insert operation and delete operation and the searching operation and uh, access operation so these are all the operation will be very easy you can store the data that is the use of manipulation operation will be very easy faster data retrieval and the manipulation you can retrieve the data and access the data or create the data or delete the data and search the data in the <coughs> fast fa fastly you can uh, access from the storage device that is the use of the faster data and retrieval and the manipulations so facilitate the des design of algorithm for solving complex problem so easily you can uh, solve the compl complex problem depend upon the algorithms that is the use of solving complex problem so next one is eases the task of updating and maintaining the data so update the data in the very e <coughs> easy and maintaining the data also is very easy in the data searches so next provide a better understanding of the relations between the data elements so these are all the uh, advantage of data searches So next disadvantage of data structure. So yeah, first uh, disadvantage increased computational and memory overhead, uh, difficulty in designing and implementing complex data structures. So next limited scalability and flexibility. So complexity in debugging and testing. So uh, debugging and testing is a uh, complexity of the data structures. So next difficulty in modifying existing data structures. So next, what are the application of data structures? So first one is array. So array is nothing but a collection of similar data type is called the array. So same element is stored in the <coughs> array. That is a array. So they have provide different access element based on the indices. Array find application in numerous scenarios so including. So what are the example of array? So dynamic programming. So dynamic programming is nothing but arrays are extensively used in the dynamic programming to so store intermediate result and optimize the recursive algorithm. So dynamic programming algorithm like the Fibonacci series and matrix chain multiplication and the knapsack problem rely on array to store and retrieve previously calculated values <coughs> efficiently. So this is a dynamic programming. Next searching and sorting. So searching and sorting array will be very easy. So uh, array provide a foundation of searching and sorting algorithm. Common searching algorithm like binary search and sorting algorithm like example of quick sort, mid sort and if sort and utilize the array of efficient uh, data manipulation of searching and sorting so next implement implementing other data searches so array serve as the underlying data structure for implementing more complex structures such as stacks and queue as tables that is called a nonlinear data searches so next is linked list so link uh, first what is mean by list so list is nothing but collection of nodes is called a list so node having two fields so one is pointer field next uh, next one is item field so pointer field is you, you, you store the point of the 
next node that is called a list so link list nothing but uh, i point out the next element of the uh, node so link list are dynamic data structure composed of nodes where each node contain data and a pointer to the next node so link link list are useful in the scenario that involve frequent insertion and deletion of element such as <coughs> memory management uh, memory management is impl implementing other data such as and polynomial manipulations so <coughs> implementing other data such as is nothing but linked list are fundamental in implementing other dynamic data such as such as tags queue and hash tables so next polynomial manipulations so manipulation is nothing but you can manipulation of data so manipulation of data you, uh, you insert the data or delete the data or modify the data or searching the data or access the data that is called a manipulation so polynomial manipulation is in a algebraic calculation linking list are used to represent and manipulate polynomial efficiently so each node in the linked list represent in a term of polynomial <coughs> with its coefficient and exponent stored as data so stack so stack is nothing but last in first out so that is called lifo uh, LIFO principle. So where, where the last element insert in the first one to the to be removed. Stack find application in several areas included. So first one is expression, evaluation, and conversions. So that is nothing but stacks are extensively used in evaluating and converting expression in fixed to postfix conversion and postfix evaluation and balancing parentheses are common application of stacks in expression manipulations. <coughs> Next one is function call stacks. So stacks are essential for managing functions call in a programming language where a function is called the function's local variable and return address are pushing onto the stack allowing for proper execution or and return flow. So next one is backtracking algorithm. So backtracking algorithm is such a depth first search. So depth first search rely on stack to keep track of visited node and potential path. The stack store the same information required to backtrack and explore the alternative path so next one is q q is nothing but a first in first first out that is called a fifo principle so where element are insert at the rear rear end and re removed from the front end that is called a q so q has various application of including so first one is job scheduling so job scheduling is nothing but queues are used in the operating system and task management for job scheduling the first in first out nature of q ensure fairness and proper execution order that is called a job scheduling so next one is breadth first search algorithm so vfs that is called a breadth first search so vfs algorithm to export graph in a level by level manner making q and an <coughs> ideal data structure for maintaining the order of traversal that is called a vfs algorithm so printer job management is pooling system queues are employed to manage print jobs ensuring that they are processed in the order they were received so this is your print job management so next one is tree so tree is a hierarchical data such as consisting of node connected by edges that is called a tree so they enable efficient searching insertion and deletion operation and are utilized in numerous applications that is called a tree so first application will be file system file system are, file system are utilized the tree structure to represent directory hierarchies so each node in the tree represent directory with the child nodes representing sub directory and files so next database indexing so uh, indexing is nothing but you can access the data in efficient so using indexing that is called a database indexing so, uh, it is nothing but trees are extensively used in database indexing for efficient searching and retrieval of records so binary tree and binary plus tree structures are commonly employed to organize and store the store vol volume of data in the database indexing so next one is hierarchical relationships trees are useful for representing hierarchical relationship in organization example so extensible is the extensible markup language and json data they allow for efficient navigation and management of hierarchical data that is called hierarchical relationship next one is decision making process so decision tree and game trees are employed in decision making process such as machine learning algorithm and game AI to model choice and outcomes. So next application is graphs. So graphs are versatile data structure compressing vertices node interconnected by edges. Graph have broad application in area such as social network analysis. Social, social network analysis is nothing but graphs are used to model 
and analyze social network enabling applications such as friend recommendation ka community detection and influence analysis so next one uh, network routing algorithms graphs are essential in network routing algorithm determining the shortest or optimal path between nodes so digit stack algorithm and bellman fold algorithm rely on the uh, graph for efficient routing so next application web page ranking a graph based algorithm likely google page rank employed <coughs> employ graph to rank web pages based on the importance and connectivity within the web graph so next one bioinformatics and computational biology graphs are utilized to model and analyze biological networks such as such as protein protein interaction networks and gene regularity networks so finally application is as table as table is nothing but hash maps so use as function to store and retrieve retrieve data in efficiently in the hash tables so they find application in wide range of scenario including first one is database and indexing indexing and searching uh, <clears throat> that is database indexing and searching is nothing but as table provide a fast retrieval of data making them suitable for indexing and searching in the database so as function distribute data evenly across the table allowing for efficient access so next one is catching mechanism so catching mechanism you are using the as table so as tables are employed in catching mechanisms to store frequently access data reducing that reducing the need for expensive computation or database queries so next one is symbol table so symbol table using the <coughs> Compilers and interpreters utilize as table as symbol tables to store identifiers, keywords, and the associated attributes during the compilation and execution process. So next key value store the data in <coughs> uh, tables. So as tables are the foundation of implementing key value store when data is stored and retrieved based on the unique key. So thank you.